In this video, we're going to learn how to find the sum and the average of numbers contained on each line of a file using C++. So here we have a file with a number on each line of the file. We want to calculate the sum and the average of the numbers in this file. The first thing we'll do is include the fstream library that allows us to use the ifstream object to open and access the file. We'll prompt the user for the name of the file to open. We'll declare a variable string file name to store the file name that the user enters. We'll prompt the user to enter in the file name with cout file name colon. This will output the text file name colon. Then we'll use cin to store the file name that the user enters into the file name string variable. Next, we can open the file with this file name. We'll create an ifstream object to allow us to open and access the file. ifstream file. We'll create this ifstream file object. We can use this to first open the file with the given file name. We'll have file.open file name. So the open member function of the ifstream file object will allow us to open the file. We pass in the string containing the name of the file to open as an argument to open up this file. It's possible that there could be an error when opening the file. So for example, perhaps the file does not exist. In that case, we can check for an error with the fail member function. So if file.fail returns true, this means there was a problem opening the file. And in that case, we're going to exit the program with an error status and message. We'll output error opening file followed by an end line. And we're going to return one. Return one will terminate the execution of the program. Returning one instead of returning zero is a signal to the shell here, to the terminal, that something has gone wrong in the execution of our program. Next, our program will need to read each number from the file We'll create a double type variable called number to store each one of these numbers. We use the type double because doubles can store numbers with decimal places. We'll also need to calculate the sum of these numbers. We'll declare a double type variable called sum and we'll initialize it to zero because initially we won't have read any numbers. As we read each number, we're going to add it to the sum. Now we can use the ifstream object and the stream extraction operator to read the numbers from the file. So for example, file and then number using the stream extraction operator here is going to read the number from the file. We could open the number here, followed by an end line. So this here will only read the first number from the file, but let's give this a try first. And we should close the file once we're done working with it. So here we'll have file.close to use the close member function to close the file. We can save our program and then over here we'll compile it and then we'll test it out. I'll enter in file.txt and we do get 4.4, the first number from the file. If we copy this code here and pasted it, we could read and output the next number from the file. So I'll paste it here, we'll save this and then we'll recompile our program and run it again and I'll enter in file.txt again, and we get 4.4 .4 and 5.3, the first two numbers from the file. So we can keep on using the stream extraction operator to read the numbers from the file. We do want to read all the numbers from the file, and we want to stop once we reach the end of the file. So the stream extraction operator is going to return true when the number is successfully read from the file. It's going to return false once we reach the end of the file so what we can do is actually use it as a loop condition. We can have here while file stream extraction operator number. And this loop is going to continue to execute and read the next number from the file and store it into the number variable until we reach the end of the file. So what we can do here is output the number in each iteration of the loop. We can delete this code here now. If we save our program and try it out, we should now read all the numbers from the file. So we can save this recompile the program and try it out. And this time I'll enter in file.txt and we get now all the numbers from the file. So to find the sum of these numbers, what we'll do is in the loop body, add each number to the variable sum. So here we'll have sum is equal to sum 
plus number to add the number to the sum. Then, after the loop has read all the numbers in the file, we can output the sum. We'll have C out, sum colon, and then we'll output the sum followed by an inline. And if we save our program and compile it and try it out again with file.txt, we now get the sum of the numbers in that file. To calculate the average, we'll want to divide the sum by the total amount of numbers in the file. We'll create another variable called total to keep track of the total numbers in the file. So here we'll declare double total and we'll initialize total to zero. And then each time we read a number from the file, we're going to increment total by one. So we'll have total is equal to total plus one. Then down here, we can calculate the average of the numbers in the file by dividing the sum by the total. So we'll have here double average is equal to sum divided by the total. And then here we'll output the average. So we'll have C out average colon average followed by an inline. And if we save our program and compile it and try it again with file.txt, we now get the average of the numbers in that file. So this is how we can find the average and the sum of numbers contained on each line of a file using C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.